you know, I thought there was some improvement. Um, execution was a lot better than it was our last time out in, a, in that situation. Um, thought the, uh, you know, the involvement in our packages was, was better too. Um, so that was good. Effort was always, has been great here. We hadn't had a problem with that since I've been here, so I'm fired up about that. That was consistent. Um, but uh, other than that, I just felt like we had 11 guys doing everything the right way, communication and things like that. So, but anyway. <clears throat> You know, we've, we've been talking a lot about this. It's been huge because um, they can handle a lot. They played a lot of football. So, you know, the, it actually presents a challenge that's a little bit unique for me is that, you know, you want to be able to pump the gas and be able to do a lot of different things with them. But, um, you know, the one thing that was a little disappointing today was our execution on, like, some of our foundation defenses, you know, like day one install stuff, you know. But we didn't call it as much because they can handle more. So. They, they present a different uh, challenge, but um, and that's a credit to them, though. You know, I got to do a good job grouping the stuff, um, and I got to do a good job just making sure that we like what all they can handle and, and and how they handle it because they're so veteran and they're so experienced that they can they just want more and more. You know, but um, you know, besides the uh, just me getting some of the foundation defenses, you know, uh, you know, wasn't real pleased with that. Thought we had some missed tackles too for the first time today. It was a credit to our running backs. Running backs ran hard today. And they're bigger guys, and that's just going to only make us better. So you know they, uh, but the veteran linebackers, I mean, it's 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 awesome to have, you know, and um, they're all in, and they're 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 playing hard, and they they play for each other, which is awesome. <clears throat> and uh, in what areas? Does the I think our defensive backs are doing a good job. Um, you know, they're the kind of the group that doesn't get talked about very often, um, based on just because they haven't played as much, you know. And there's some guys that aren't going through spring, but. You know, they, we've put a lot on them. You know, the one thing that the one thing that has happened is we we have a lot more defense in than most teams would have on their first you know spring, based on our you know experience of our front seven. But that puts a burden a little bit on your back end. You know, so <clears throat> the first you know five or six practices, I thought that they um, struggled a little bit. But uh, now I'm really pleased with how they're how they're playing. You know, um, you know they're. They're banged up. They're actually having to take a ton of reps based on we don't have many bodies out there. And, you know, we've got three guys, four guys, I think, not going through spring. And, you know, we're, we're playing five DB packages and, you know, trying to get a fifth guy out there at times with the Bob spread offense. So it creates some problems, you know. They uh, they play a lot of snaps, and but I've been pleased with them so far. Yeah, um, you know, Kamani Hines isn't younger, but he's had a good week. Um, Really competitive with Ish at that in, in position, and then uh, Jaquel and Emmanuel have been really solid at the the tackle spot. And it's what it's hap what it's allowed us to do is be able to move guys around and get them different work at different spots. You know, be able to play Savion a little bit at nose. You know, but those guys have done a really good job. Um, you know, Williams doing a great job at nose as a backup. You know, I think he's a guy that. Um, when you got here, you know, you didn't know what you're to expect with them, but he's he's been solid. So, been pleased. Coach Jack's done a great job with them. You know, I've been really pleased with the coaching staff. They've been awesome. They've uh, those kids have bought into them, and um, you know, they 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 accepted the challenge today and they responded. You know, we needed to have a good day. I didn't feel Monday and Wednesday was were as solid as they needed to be, and today they were. <clears throat> a good. I think they like it. You know, I, I, the thing that I think that's uh, important is. And as an area improved in today is situational football, but I also believe in teaching situational defense. You know, they I think if you can sit up here and tell the defensive line that the DBs have the stress in this call, you know. So if they catch a ball on them and they tackle it, it's not the end of the world, you know. Vice versa, you know, if it's third down, you know, and we've got a pass rush on, those defensive backs gotta win in man coverage if we play it, you know. So I think that teaching them the situations of the defenses is has gone a long way, you know, and we got guys that are starting to understand it, you know, and what I think it does is it puts a little more ownership on, you know, each other and understanding that they got a, you know, he's got a tough job, let's pick him up instead of beat him down if they catch a ball on him or something like that. But uh, the other thing it does is it puts a little more on the call for me, you know, uh, like I'm calling this to stop this, I'm calling this to stop that. And I think that they're starting to get that and they know what can and can't happen. And if you can do that, you know, you can play good defense, winning defense. Good. I mean, I think it's it's that's what the game is now. I mean, um, you know, there's times where I've been at places where the kids didn't know the down a distance. The games were going so fast. You know, they understand 
they need a you know if they need a field goal or they need a touchdown what kind of calls they need expect you know they, they they're getting to the point now where they start to have an idea what what's going to get called which i think is how you build a really good defense when there's continuity between the play caller and the defense i i just want to come out clean you know the spring game to me is one of those one of those deals where it's it's a little bit of a polish and it's a little bit of a show but it's not the 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 grunt work through the spring you know what i mean um so um, the most important for me is Wednesday. It's my the Wednesday practices we've had are my favorite. You know, we get a lot more work done there than we would. You know, but from a format standpoint, I, I I don't I don't put much stock into it. I've been on really good defenses that couldn't stop anybody in the spring game. I've been on really bad defenses that could really stop people, and which was unexpected. So that, that to me is more, you know, behind the scenes. It's more like I want to see us execute. I want to see guys play hard. And I want to make sure that we're doing, we're playing, and we're improving. We're not taking a step backwards from where we're going to end up on Wednesday. <clears throat> well, I'm going to get, I'm going to call a few different things because I want to get that those foundation problems that we had today. You know, if we're going to call our three-man front and, and play our day one defense, I want to make sure we get those called. Um, it's a physical day. It's a run day. It's another live day. Um, you know, as far as just full pads goes, you know, not every situation or period is, but there's some that can get, get pretty physical. So. Really, uh, when when I get walk off the field, I'm gonna make sure we put them in those day one first and second down calls, and I want to feel good about them. <clears throat> um, I just want to see a, a them understand it's a hard playing defense that um, is multiple, um, has a lot of energy, and uh, you know, and and is consistent. You know, I think that you know we're, we preach taking the ball away, we preach uh, you know being great on third down, we preach all the things that everybody else in the country is doing, but you know, we I want to be that defense that goes out and does it. <clears throat> Huge, huge, you know, that was, that's where I was torn a little bit today. I called some things to get on tape so we could have cut ups, you know, because um, I think that we need to do a lot more teaching and we need to, by the time we get out to fall camp, we need to be better than we were when we locked up the field in the spring. So.